Happy Purim! So, isn't it really hard to tell what I'm dressed up as? Seems like a lot of my friends give me all kind of like different um, costumes. I thought it was pretty obvious. I'm really curious to know if it's, I'm not creative enough or um, it's an IQ situation. Anyways, happy Purim! And today I want to tell you something tremendous, mind-blowing that Esther is teaching us. It's unbelievable. And she's saying, my dear sisters, you and I and the entire Jewish woman throughout history, Jewish, Jewish history, are very smart. We are very smart. And why are we smart? Because we understand something from something. It says that Purim is like Yom Kippur, like the German day. And the German day is not like Purim, meaning that Purim has a much higher status than the German day, than Yom Kippur. How come? And Esther is telling us. Because Esther, when she, when the, when the king asked her, Esther, what is it that I can do for you? What did she say? She said, oh, my dear king, I would like to ask you and Haman to come to the feast that I am making tomorrow. Excuse me, lady. Hello. Everybody's about to get killed. Killed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, your uncle is going to be hung really soon. Tomorrow? Today! Today! We need, we need you to meet with the, with the, with the, with the king today. Why are you waiting for tomorrow? Esther is saying, aha, my dear sisters, let me teach you why tomorrow. Because today, Haman received permission to hang Mordechai and to kill the entire Jewish people. And he's so happy that I know that I doesn't matter what I will do, I will not be successful. So I have to wait. The next day, so Ahasuerus is asking Haman to take Mordechai around the city in a horse that belongs to the king and the, the clothes that belong to the king. And he had to, he had to scream and say, this is what we're going to do to a, to a person that the king, he, de he desires to return him a favor. That day, Haman comes back to the palace. Havel vechafui rosh. He is embarrassed ashamed and depressed and then she says yes this is the time this is the time to to get to get to get him down and that's why she asks for them to come tomorrow she's also teaching us another and for and this with this she's teaching us that if we want to pray Today is the day to pray because it's like Yom Kippur, but not to pray from sadness, to pray from happiness. Because when we are happy, we can... Esther is teaching us to pray from joy, from simcha, because at this time, when it rains, it pours, Hashem will just give and give and give you. But you got to remember, if we pray from etzev, from sadness, from shame, from guilt, from, from, from no, no, more, no more motivation, no more strength, and we're like begging and begging, she says, no, that's not, no, there is time and place for everything. Today, and almost every day, the secret for success is to pray from happiness from joy, from being thankful. That's what she's teaching us to do today. So my dear sisters, let's all take a moment today. Get rid of all this, maybe not get rid of it, but like put it for a second aside. Don't let it distract us from the tremendous power, auspicious time that this day is. Take a moment, five minutes, 10 minutes, if you could more, to pray for yourself and for the entire Jewish people. Happy Purim.